Illinois state lawmakers could vote on a plan to ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines during the lame duck session next month. The House bill has 26 co-sponsors. Democrats hope to see some of their Republican colleagues support the plan. And WGEM Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich is live in Springfield tonight with the latest on this. Hello, Mike. Daniel McKenzie, good evening. A special House working group has met every week since August to help draft this proposal, and Democrats say they have a strong proposal in hand. House and Senate Democrats have discussed the possibility of banning assault weapons and high-capacity magazines for several years. But the idea is gaining more attention following the Highland Park mass shooting that killed seven people and left 48 others wounded. I have the freedom to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, we, we have the freedom to go to the grocery store, to a parade, to drop our children off at school without fear of being shot. Representative Maura Hirschauer says gun control advocates and gun owners in her district support the idea of an assault weapon ban. House Bill 5855 could also prevent people under 21 from getting access to FOID cards unless they serve in the military or Illinois National Guard. The Illinois State Rifle Association says this plan would peel back Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. They're punishing 2.5 million people for the acts of a few. So that's the problem with all of these laws. The 2.5 million people didn't do anything uh, yesterday or the day before or last month, but yet they're punishing all the, all the firearm owners. The proposal would grandfather in anyone who currently owns an assault weapon. People would have 300 days to register their weapon and pay a $25 fee to the Illinois State Police after the bill is signed into law. Richard Pearson says registration of any firearm usually leads to confiscating those guns, and his organization is ready to challenge the proposal in court. Governor J.B. Pritzker knows gun lobby groups will want to slow the implementation process and end the ban if they can. Yet Pritzker has faith in the proposal filed by Representative Bob Morgan, who survived the Highland Park shooting. I believe that the proposal that's been made has been vetted. Bob Morgan is an attorney, um, and uh, I believe that this is a constitutional proposal. Meanwhile, gun shop owners like Dan Cooley say the plan will decrease sales as these weapons are very popular. Cooley is also concerned that sponsors expanded the definition of an assault weapon to include many shotguns and some handguns. If their intent was to stop crime, why are they worried about those folks to begin with? If they've already got the firearm not committed crimes with it, how's a $25 fee in registering it going to change that?